How you going? Looks like it's gonna be a great day. Come on, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hi, neighbor. Can you say grumpy? Sure, you can. You're bugging me, Mr. Rogers. Come on and ring. Come do your answering thing. All right, over here. Will you please? Yeah. Oh, hi. Well, this is Jimmy Stewart here. And, well, the boys are, well, they're out right now, and, and the little bald-headed dude can't come to the phone either. Well, why don't you just leave a, a message when you, when you hear the little beep, it's going to sound like this. Beep! Well, who was it? Whoever it was hung up, Gramps. People hate talking to machines. How long have I got to keep this up? And I'm slightly tons in love with her. <laughs> She's a magnificent woman. I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> My, we're feisty this morning. Somebody spike your Ovaltine? The phone is off limits. I'm expecting my call. Adam! Adam, again. All right, all now right. Do your box thing, but, but, but don't, have, don't let him hang up. All right. Well, this is Salwood Joe Cell. There's no one here on the premises at the moment. Why don't you just leave a message when you hear the tone? Oh, if you don't hear a tone, don't leave a message. I should have known no one would want to talk to Howard Cosell. But tell us to get out of here like Howard Cosell would, will you? Then you'll get out, you promise? I promise. All right, all right, that's Howard Cosell. Yeah. Okay. This is Howard Cosell reporting fourth quarter action, Sheffield, New Jersey. Oh! Oh, suddenly, Oliver Nugent and Bernard Solomon ejected from the room by the young Adam Shields. How do you like that, huh? That sensational son, he's dead. He's really ready, Gramps, for a really, really fine, fine show, show, show game. That's right. Tonight, right here on our stage, we're going to have the famous Hungarian live baby jugglers. It's going to be a really big... Shoo shoo, shoo shoo, shoo shoo. That don't sound like no hard to sell. End of yours. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. Well, this is Jimmy Stewart. And I'm, I'm very glad Wait to be Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's Jimmy Stewart. Well, well, I, I'm right here, sir, right where you see me. Here I am. You said that there's Jimmy Stewart here. No, you walk it out in a circle, and you come back without Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> sir, it, it, it's an imitation. See, I, I pretend to sound like Jimmy Stewart. Can't you hear that I, I sound like him? If I could hear so good, I'd be home listening to the radio. <laughs> This is really a terrific audience. Um, you know what it always gets me is when you're driving in your car, and you're driving, and you can't see if it's clear to switch lanes, to get over the next lane. So you have to ask the passenger with you to look out the window and see if it's clear to get over. And you ever notice the responses you get in this situation? It's like, hey, Bob, uh, is it clear? Yeah. <laughs> That'll shorten your life, huh? <laughs> I hate it when this happens. Hey, Bob, is it clear? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the worst one, the worst one is, hey, is it clear? Go now, go now! <laughs> Thank you. Now my impression of Bob Dylan as a stand-up comic. Bob Dylan. Did you hear about the man who walked into the psychiatrist's office and says, hey, doctor, everyone ignores me. No one pays attention to me. The doctor said, next. <laughs> Do Jimmy Stewart.
<laughs> you crazy guy, I love you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do Jimmy Stewart just for you. Okay. This is my Jimmy Stewart hat. Okay, here we go. Jimmy Stewart, just for you. Because I love all of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, how many psychiatrists does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> well, one, but the light bulb has to really want to change. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. my esteemed pleasure tonight in our shoe show, shoo shoo, to bring up a famous member of the Gilbert and Sullivan Society of Sheffield University and a personal roommate of Mr. Oliver Nugent. Well, let's put our hands together for Mr. Jonathan Burns. Jonathan.